SVS or Monolith by Monoprice? Which one? To me, it is as simple as, do you have DSP? Performance-wise, Monolith and SVS are, are pretty much neck and neck. In terms of objective data that I've gathered and that other sources such as Audioholics has gathered, they really are. They're, they're pretty darn close, and it just depends on you know what specific frequency you're talking about. But for the most part, I'd say they're pretty even kill. So the difference there comes down to the features that the SBS has, but the features that the SBS has also cost you more money. And in general, just generally speaking, the price difference is about a hundred bucks, maybe 200 bucks, depending on what specific model you're looking at. And if there's a sale on one of those particular units at the time, but usually the SBS is about maybe a hundred to $200 more. You know, if you're comparing apples to apples, so a 12 inch versus a 12 inch, you know, ported versus ported, that kind of thing. I think that the SVS is, you know, extra cost for the built-in app, which allows you to do equalization. I think it's three bands. It may be five. I can't recall off the top. Uh, you know, other DSP features such as time delay, level trim adjustment, polarity. Those features are great to have, but most AVRs have those. If your AVR has those or if you're using external DSP, then you could save some money and get the monolith by monoprice. But if you don't, then get the SBS. I mean, to me, it really is that simple, that clear cut. Now, if you're talking about which one looks better and things like that, well, that's a that's a choice that I can't make for you. I can't really help you with that. You go with whichever one you think is going to fit your home or your likes better. But in terms of just sheer performance and should you get one or the other, that's really what it boils down for me. Everybody needs DSP for subwoofer. You need equalization for subwoofer. You just do. Why is it important? Well, because in subwoofer region territory, you've got a lot of differences in the frequency balance, uh, not even just in the same seat, especially seat to seat. But if you are just listening from one primary seat, then DSP will help fix a lot of that. Now, if you're talking about multiple seats, then that's really where you're talking to get into the territory of needing multiple subwoofers or needing some really advanced DSP to do some advanced equalization type stuff or room treatment. But if you're just talking about one subwoofer and which one should you get, that's what it boils down to for me. If you don't have DSP, SBS. If you do have DSP, mono price. That's it. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. If you like the video, do the like thing. If you didn't like the video, do the dislike thing. All the interaction helps with the algorithm. It helps increase this channel views. And I hate begging for stuff, but now I am begging. I uh, will talk to you all later. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Peace.